How to remove injectors on a 12 valve Cummins. Take two. Uh, I made a previous video, but let's be honest, it stunk. First step, blowing out everything. We're opening up injector lines here, people. Make sure we stay clean. If you have a pressure washer handy, that'd be a good thing to use. However, I'm just going to stick with air. So, let's do that. Step number one, remove the 10 millimeter bolts holding the intake horn on. We need to do this to remove the injector lines. There's actually a couple ones hold the bolts holding the injector lines on as well, as well as the uh, 10 millimeter nuts holding the uh, grid heater lines on because we have to take them off in order to get the injector lines out. All of these are 10 millimeter. Now there's typically also a uh, oil uh, dipstick right here, but it's not on mine. It's actually over here, so I gotta do that. That's also 10 millimeter. I'm just going to pull the bolts out. Now let's loosen up the injector lines. It's actually 19 millimeter, but we're using a three quarter because they're basically the same. Now for the injector side of the injector lines. Now we just pull the injector lines off because we already got those two bolts out. A little wiggling. There we go. Got a little fuel leakage there. Nothing we're not used to. Now for the injector return line. That is 10 millimeter. There's six of them on the injectors. Let's get those first. Make sure to pull the uh, bolt and the little uh, horseshoe washer off at the same time, or otherwise when you, uh, it just, the horseshoe washer will fall and you never see it again. You really couldn't see that well over there, could you? So you're, we're gonna do the last three. Something I forgot to mention, the uh, bolt back here for the uh, injector trim line, 10 millimeter. And the 12 millimeter injector turn line banjo bolt. This typically hooks into the fuel filter. Just take him out. He's got rubber so seals on him, banjo bolt seals. Don't want to let them fall off. Like so, there you go. And now we just pull the injector return line off. Should come right off. Now that we got those bolts out of there. Up and out. Just put him back. Now for the injector hold down nuts. That is a 15 16th, or it's actually probably 24, but 15 16 works good for me. So. Now we just unscrew the hold down nuts all the way and we pull them out. We got this baggie here so we can put them in a nice clean environment. So here we go. Now if this is your first time having pulled the injectors out or if they're really stuck in there, you may they may not come out easily. For me they come out, I'm sure they'll come out pretty easy. Now if yours is stuck in there, what you can do is you can take a... Uh, injection uh, in a, a vice grips and you can clamp on these two flat sides here and here clamp that and pull it out um, you you want to wiggle around spin it you know, wiggle around like that you can also take a lug nut 
cut an appropriately sized piece of PVC pipe. Obviously pull this guy off. Pull this guy off like so. Get a piece of PVC pipe, slip it over that, and use an, uh, a lug nut actually, and uh, thread that on and that will act as a puller and it will pull the injector out. I didn't have good luck with that. Uh, I ended up screwing up the injector, but that was on a really old uh, engine. The injectors were garbage anyway. They were so rusted in. Um, it was, it, the engine was sat in the rain forever. So, uh, well, there you go. So, we got, we got one out. Let's keep going. Do yourself a favor when you do this. Make sure you check the injector as it's coming out. You just pulled it out of the hole. Check the copper washer on there. The reason you want to do it right then is so that way if uh, it did not come off with the copper, copper washer, you know which hole to look in and which hole still has it in there because uh, otherwise you're trying to figure out which one actually has it. That's going to be the biggest job. Once you figure it out, then you'll have the easy part of getting it out. So there we are, six injectors out of a 12 valve coming. So we got the injectors out yesterday. I was able to work my magic on them and now we're gonna be putting them back in. Installation is basically the same as removing them, but instead of taking bolts out, you put them the bolts back in. So we're not gonna go through the whole detail, especially like you know, the intake horn and um, the injector lines, because I mean, that's pretty basic stuff. But I'll just show you a couple tricks when you're installing your injectors. This is true for uh, new injectors, you in used injectors, whatever. When you're installing the injectors, one thing you want to do is uh, clean out the holes really good before you uh, throw the injectors in the hole. If there's rust, make sure like you can use like a shotgun uh, bore brush, or they actually make if you if there's like a lot of rust down there, they actually make a tool that just uh, that fits in there and it scrapes. I don't have a part number with me right now, but that tool is available. Otherwise. Uh, my, I happen to know that mine are plenty good. Any uh, debris or anything that would hinder sealing up properly would be just the debris that may have fell in there or oil or whatever, what have you. You can also use like a brake cleaner to shoot it in there, but I'm not really worried about it. I have a feeling that compressed air will be plenty. So let's do that. Now just put the injectors in the hole. Now, first thing you do is you'd want to make sure there's no copper washer in the hole you're about to put it in, and we got the copper washer on the injector. Now, I'm a bit of a, um, a stinker when it comes to these things. I want to make sure that this seals nicely. So what I typically do is I put a little anti-seize on this copper washer here, and I also just lube up this, uh, this nut here and uh, where it seats onto the injector with uh, grease. So anti-seize on the copper washer, grease on the nut and stuff here. I'm, I'm going to get one of those. I already got lubed up. Here we are, just uh, just a little bit on there, and that helps keep it from sticking. It makes it, them come out pretty easy. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put that in, make sure that that copper washer is stuck onto it like that so it doesn't fall off. Stick it down the hole. Make sure when you put it in, see that hole there, the hole right there, and then there's a little ball there? That has to face towards the uh, passenger side of the truck. So like that, and there's a little notch that it fits in. You can hear it clicking in there where it's only going a certain way. And you just screw the uh, little lock nut in, the nut on there, by hand, however far you want to go. Like that, and then we get another one. And just keep repeating the process. down factory spec of 44 foot pounds okay now I've got a whole 
tool chest of uh, specialty tools for the Cummins, uh, you know, gear pullers, um, barring tools, whatnot. But this is also in that little chest. Um, what this does is it seats the O-ring. It's just nothing special about it. It's just square and has the right inner diameter. So what you can do is you just take it, go like that, O-ring seated. It's really slick. If you've ever used a screwdriver, you'll find out that A, it ruins the uh, O-rings, and B, it takes a lot of BS. From here it's really simple, you just put the injector return line back on, injector lines back on, the uh, intake horn back on, and you're good to go.